Okay. You are you are talking about the time warp, and you are talking about shrinking space, so that time can move faster, right? Well, you cannot move faster than light. You can shrink space. You can lengthen the space at the back and shrink the space in the front. But you you yourself are going at the same speed of light, not faster than that. That's why Einstein is the genius of all times. But this is all in relativity, mind you, and the Great Indian Calendar is about relativity. It is about relativity, and I'm talking about relativity in relation to three hundred thousand kilometers per second. Okay, e is equal to m c squared, but my formula is a little different. My formula is c c is in now this is the c that is consciousness and then within the c i write an 8 is infinitely greater than and co equal to e is equal to mc squared this is my working hypothesis. I have introduced consciousness. Now I need your blessings because this is a huge thing. If this happens, then creation will happen in a new light. Because Einstein has written, you see, energy is equal to mass into the velocity of light, right? E is equal to mc squared mass into the uh, whatever he, say, he has said. But he has not added consciousness. So consciousness is a huge thing which has to be added into this and nothing is impossible. If that is added into it, that's a whole new thing which is left out. That's my working hypothesis. And then you can, you can go beyond relativity. Time is true as long as you're in relativity. The moment you go into the black hole, time and space, but so does light go. Even light is not ultimate, but light is the ultimate in relativity. Even light is not ultimate. So along the fulcrum of, of light, time and space are doing their seesaw, Marjorie Daw. But the question is, time is the fourth dimension and light is the first dimension, second dimension, third dimension and also the fourth dimension. Light is time as duration and light is space as distance. Ah.